Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be starting the heaters up and making sure they're all working before it gets real cold. First I'm going to start off with this homemade heater. I've got a video on it earlier and I will link that in the description. So click on that if you want to check that out. Let's get started. First thing I need to do is fill this cooler up with water. I'm going to use hot water just to hasten things a bit. But if you use cold water, it'll eventually get warm. Just for the first time starting, it works a lot better just to go ahead and prime it with hot water. Then that should be about right. Put the cover back on it. Close the hatch. Got a messed up tile there, that's alright. I'll stick it back down. Now I've got to open the access panel. Be right back. The lighting may not be the greatest here, but I'll do the best I can. What I've got to do is I'm going to rearrange some of these plugs for the winter time. Now everything is plugged in. And then I will turn on the fan. Get it routed. And there goes the fan. And now we'll do some air temperature checks. Just a quick update, a little while later I had remembered I bought this three-way adapter that pointed down because I didn't like the wires rubbing up against this. So that that's a lot better than it was. This line here is beginning to warm. It's up to 80. So this thing is producing heat, so we'll see how it does for the 21-22 heating season. So far it hadn't had any problems, but it is still October, so who knows what will happen. But I'm going to go ahead and cover it back up and let it warm up. And today's a good day to start the heaters because I needed to get my Christmas stuff out anyway. I gotta start testing that out. That's gonna be a whole other video of getting everything ready to go for 2021 Christmas lights. But let's do a temperature check. That's been running about five minutes, ten minutes maybe. It's up to 74, so it's got a ways to go. And the temperature. about 68 in here so it's not real cold at the moment but I'll let that run for a while a little while later let's see how much warmer it is it's almost up to full operating temperature so I want to say that's working just fine so now on to the next heater Next up I'm going to try the onboard heater of that new Hisense AC unit I retrofitted into my climate right. That should be heat. I'll turn it on 80 and see what happens. It turned on.
I'm feeling some warmth out of it. Okay, it's up to 78.8 already. I'll let it run a few more minutes and see what it does. Let's try out the 1959 New Tone 920. For this year it gets a quick wipe down and it should be ready to go. I oil the motor about every other year. Just get the dust off of it. And it's accumulated on the element to cut down on that smell just a little bit. Should be good. Fan started right up, nice and quiet. Already getting some heat. So it looks like that one's going to work just fine. I'm starting to feel some good heat down here on the ground now. We're getting hot now. So let that run a little while. Yeah, we're getting plenty hot. So the 1959 New Tone 920 heater is ready for service. Let's move on to the next heater. Up next is the 1958 Peerless. I'm going to take the cover off and vacuum it out and make sure it's all cleaned up and ready to go. Go ahead and clean up the porcelain cover a little bit. And that one's out. But I have another one. There we go. Let that soak a little bit. I'm going to put the other one in the bathtub. And that one can soak, and this one should be ready. And that came out sparkling clean. Dirt 
esta manera lo veo solo. Looks pretty good. I think it'll do. Let's reassemble. Now let's test it out and observe the flame before we put the lower cover back on. It's got to burn all the junk off. I've got well-defined flames, so that's burners adjusted just right. It's just got to burn a bunch of that junk off. Got it turned way down. And now I'll put the lower cover back on. And we're heating up all right. That'll keep me plenty warm this winter in the bathroom getting showered and everything. So that one can go off. And the 1958 Peerless is ready to go. And finally, let's try the 2021 Carrier Furnace. I like to take the front cover off and make sure everything's looking good. That's spinning freely. Everything looks clean. And there's all the data right there that says how old it is and stuff like that. It's pretty easy to determine that. Well, let's get the money shot now. What everybody wants to see. Hot surface igniter, so everything so far is okay. Gas valve opened and ignition. Nice blue flames. is ignited as well. Let's start testing air temperature. Not taking long. Come back in a few moments and see where we top out at. The cover's back on. Now would be a good time to change the filter. Looks like it hadn't been done since the 16th of August. Oh yeah, we're heating up just fine. That ought to be working great for the heating season for 2021-2022. And I've cut the thermostat back down. 
got it set on 68. And let wait for the fan to wind down on it. Guess I can set the camera down. And I'll go get a new filter while I'm waiting on that. So I hit the play button before I was ready to. But it was just starting to wind down as I hit the play button by accident. Now let's swap the filter out. A little bit dirty. There's the new one, all nice and clean. Done. And that's all there is to it.